hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in this video we will learn what are ai agents and what are llm agents so let's start with the basics what is an agent in general what is an agent so agent is a system that can understand the user's query and then decide what to do and finally execute the task to achieve a goal so in simple terms we can say that agent can perceive reason and act so in general this is what any agent does now let's understand what is an ai agent so we'll understand this with an example of recommendation system that suggests products on e-commerce platform so the first step what will be the first step of recommendation system the first step is to understand the user's behavior so now how recommendation system will understand the user's behavior so through the browsing history of that user like what kind of items that user have already viewed or searched for and it can understand the user behavior by looking at the purchase history purchase history will tell that the products that user have already bought and then the third thing is demographic data with the help of demographic data also you can understand the user demographic data like the location or the age of the user okay so for example if user looks at a running shoes and the system detects this interest then the second step will be deciding what to recommend because now the system knows what is the interest of the user now the second step is to decide what to recommend to that user and here the system will use machine learning algorithms like collaborative filtering so what collaborating filtering does it will uh, find the similarities between users correct and then a content based filtering can also be done here a content based filtering will focus on the items relationship and then there is a popularity based filtering which recommends trending products right so for example after performing these uh, different filterings uh, our system notices that the user who bought running shoes often bought athletic socks also so it decides to recommend the socks to the user now the final step is taking action now what kind of action so system will generate a list of recommendation and it will display those recommendations on the screen on the platform right so for example you will see a section called recommended for you and that section will show you socks or water bottles or other fitness things so this is the example of ai agent how this is an ai agent let's understand that so first step what it did at the first step it perceives the digital environment through structured data like users browsing history then it reasons with algorithm to decide what to recommend and then finally it acts by showing those recommendations to the user so perceive reason act this is what any um, agent does right so this is what we have done over here and this is an ai agent this is not a llm agent now why this is not an llm agent let's understand that because it does not rely on natural language processing for its decision so for recommendation what we did for recommendation we used ai models and the structured data right so we are not relying on any llm model over here correct so this is an example of ai agent now let's take different kind of example which will tell you what other kind of ai agents are there so uh, the another example is this robot vacuum now how this robot vacuum work let's see that robot vacuum is an ai agent now let's understand how this is an ai agent and how it works so step one i've told you every agent will perceive first step is perceive second step is reason third step is action so first step in this case in this example what is the first step perceive so the robot vacuum uses sensors like camera or infrared to understand its surrounding and it will detect the walls furniture obstacles and dirt right so for example when it sees a wall it will change the direction to avoid bumping into it right so now let's go to the second step second step is reason means to decide what to do 
सो हेयर द वैक्यूम प्लान द मोस्ट एफिशियंट वे टू क्लीन द रूम बिकॉज दैट इज द अल्टीमेट गोल सो इट विल रिमेंबर द एरिया इट हैज ऑलरेडी क्लीन एंड इट विल फिगर आउट वेयर टू गो नेक्स्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट नोटिस अ कॉर्नर दैट हैजन बीन क्लीन येट देन इट विल प्लान अ पाथ टू कवर दैट एरिया सो दिस दिस इज हाउ हेयर द प्लानिंग इज हैपनिंग मीन्स वॉट should it do to achieve the goal and the goal is to clean the room for that it it planned this and now the third step is action to act so once it decide the vacuum will start moving it will move forward it will turn here and there to clean everything whatever the situation is it will clean the whole room right so it will clean it will detect where the dirty spot is and then it will clean that particular spot so this is the another example of ai agent here this vacuum robot operates autonomously in a physical environment so in my previous example what we uh, what we have seen so over there our agent was working in a digital environment and here in this scenario our ai agent is working in a physical environment so it uses algorithms sensors and internal models to plan and execute its task so finally it will achieve its goal and the goal is cleaning the room without needing human intervention now you'll notice that all the operations of the robot vacuum are based on sensor data and some preprogrammed algorithms right so it does not rely on natural language processing or large language models correct so i have explained you this example so i haven't mentioned anything related to llm so no llm no natural language processing is getting used over here so this is another example of ai agent